In this wildlife photography Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you the full edit on this lion and buffalo image, this being the final result. To start off with, I'm going to use my Initialize Photo preset. This is a new Lightroom Tools preset pack that I'm giving away for free. If you're interested in this preset pack, there's a link in the description below for you to get it for free. So I've used that initialized photo preset. So that's going to reset all of the sliders to zero. I'm going to then run the image into DxO Pure Raw 4 to clean up the noise. It's ISO 8000, so it's quite noisy. I'm going to process instantly with DxO Pure Raw 4. That's gonna do everything in Lightroom here with a few clicks. So I can set my settings here. I'm just going to choose luminance of about 40. That's pretty good for a 8000 ISO image. Force details at zero. Lens softness, I'm going to choose standard. And then the output set settings will be the same as I normally use and that's those there. Click apply, click process now and that's going to then create the DNG file and then I'm going to be using that new DNG file to edit from. So I'm going to drop my exposure just to start off with, raise the blacks to soften those blacks out. I'm going to increase the whites slider, not too much. I'm going to add more whites from the right hand side just now and I think I want to darken the bottom. So on my preset pack here, I've got three foreground darkens. So you can hover your mouse over the preset just to see the effect that it's going to give. I think I'm going to maybe go with foreground linear darken one. You'll see it creates the mask in the mask panel there. So you can move it around and, and just fine tune the placement and the amount of exposure drop there. So I'm going to roughly place it about there. I might darken the sky very slightly as well, just from the very top there. Very, very small amount. I think the big change in this image is going to come from this radial gradient. I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to create a nice radial gradient here, and I'm basically going to brighten this section just to increase the appearance of the light coming from the right-hand side. And I might warm that up just a touch there as well. Let's go back to full screen. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on some global adjustments. Might just fine tune this contrast using the whites here. And then I might add some clarity just to enhance some of those details. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black fade. Now that's basically going to push the very blacks of the image to more of a gray tone. So I'm hovering over black fade one, black fade two I think is a bit too strong. So I'm going to fade the blacks on this mask here. Again, it creates a mask in the mask panel there. And I basically added the word mask next to each preset, just so you know where that effect gets put. The colors, I might just add some vibrance, just to increase some of the oranges. It's going to increase some of those greens, but I'm not worried about that now. I'm looking mainly at the oranges or the these browns on the line here. And then I'm going to create more of a vignette. I've got some other vignette presets here. I think I'm going to use this vignette one. It creates it in the mask panel there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract a linear gradient just to take it away from the right hand side. I don't really want to darken the area where the light's coming from. I just want to look at the crop. I think I might just crop in a little bit just to help the composition slightly. Maybe something like that. And now I'm going to start working on the color. So I'm going to go to my color mixer to point color. First thing I'm going to do is I want to make these blues more a cyan color. So I'm going to click on there. Visualize range there so you can see exactly what it's going to target. I might increase the range a bit. It's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to shift the hue a little bit there and then desaturate that as well. That's going to minimalize the image quite a lot and just give it a nice darker mood. Then I'm going to work on the greens. There's quite a bit of green in here. Now, if I went to the mixer, I could adjust the greens here, but I really want to target these greens very specifically. So I'm going to use point color and then we'll go into this green here. So you can see I'm going to desaturate that a bit, but mainly I'm going to shift it to brown. I want to get rid of those greens and make it more brown. So you can see I've done that and there's still a little bit more in the image that I want to change. I'm going to use another point color adjustment. Adjust the hue again. Perhaps desaturate it slightly. And I'm going to use yet another one on this bush here. There's still a lot of green and on the bottom here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to visualize the range just to make sure I'm grabbing on a lot of these other areas might just increase the range just a little bit there just to see more of those greens targeted and now i'm going to shift more towards that brown so you can see there that's really taking away that green and making it brown 
It's making the image a lot simpler in terms of color. But I think we might have gone overboard a little bit with removing all of that green. So I'm just going to bring some of the saturation back. Don't want it to be too desaturated. I still want some nice color there. All right, so now I'm going to click on the line. I want to adjust the color of the line mainly. I want to increase the luminance slightly and maybe some saturation. I think the actual color is pretty good. I might just shift it a bit towards yellow. It looks a little bit red at the moment. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go to color grading and now I'm going to add a blue tint to the shadows. So if you come into my Lightroom Tools preset pack here, I'm just going to click this blue shadows color grade and that's automatically going to apply that color grade effect there. So that's without the color grade and that's with it. You can see it's a nice soft adjustment there. It's a very subtle change. It's adding in a little bit of blue into the image. Again, I think I want to increase the light coming from the right hand side. I'm going to use the radial gradients again. Just bring it over this area and I'm going to increase the blacks and add in a little bit of negative dehaze. Not too much. And then I might warm that up very slightly. Something like that, very subtle. And then what I want to do is I want to burn some of the subject and that basically means darken. So on my preset pack here, I've got subject burn. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to create a subject mask and drop the exposure by one. And then what you need to do is on the subject burn, you need to intersect with a brush. And then you need to paint onto the image where you want that darkening to be applied. And then I'm going to just darken some of these areas that should be dark, just to add a bit more dimension to the image. And because we've added the little bit of light coming from the right hand side, I want to create some shadow as well, just on the face here. It's looking pretty good there. Maybe just darken that slightly just for a bit of texture. And I'm liking that. I think I might just darken a little bit of this lion's face here. It's very bright. So I'm just going to go in and darken some of that. Just for that effect. A very subtle change there. So this is the subject burn. You can see we've just added some nice texture to the animal. Uh, one thing I'm going to do here is work on the eye. Just going to brighten this very bright patch there, just using the white slider. So I think I'm just going to go back to the white balance. Just going to tweak the white balance after we've made a lot of these adjustments. Might tweak the contrast a bit more. Drop those blacks slightly. Drop that exposure slightly, sorry. Raise the blacks up. Increase the whites. I'm going to hold down Alt just to make sure I'm not blowing any whites out. One thing I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to darken the background slightly. So what this is going to do, it's going to darken the whole image without darkening a subject. I'm going to click that and I want to just remove the foreground. So I'm going to click subtract linear gradient. I'm going to remove that foreground from the mask. And basically what that's going to do now is darken the area behind the lion. Just help that lion pop a little bit more. Perhaps it's a bit much. So I might just drop the amount slider there. And then I think I'm going to desaturate the blues again. So I'm just going to go back to this point color swatch we had here and then just desaturate them very slightly. Might just adjust this contrast slightly in the tone curve. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sharpening to the image. I'm going to zoom in to 100%. I'm going to click my sharpening low preset here. You can see that's the settings that it's given. I think for this image, I think that's working pretty well. So that is the before and that is the after. And if you want to see another full edit, check out this video next where I edit this line image in Lightroom.